The past decade didn't exactly look like Back to the Future Part 2 or Blade Runner, but we did see some really amazing tech emerge over the past decade. Here's 10 of the best technologies we got over the past 10 years, and in no particular order. We'll let you decide which one is the best, and you can drop your favorite in the comments. Here we go. First up, smart assistants. The idea of a computer you can speak to has been a science fiction dream and sometimes nightmare for decades. But despite passable dictation tools in the 90s, it wasn't until Siri debuted on the iPhone 4S in 2011 that we were introduced to modern smart assistants. Now they don't just understand our requests, they can act on them. Whether you need an answer to a math problem, want to play a video on YouTube, or need driving directions on the spot, today's smart assistants won't just understand what you're asking for, they'll quickly give it to you. While props go to Apple for helping make this tech mainstream, it took Amazon to liberate AI assistants from their smartphone prisons, and now they're pretty much everywhere. Now we come to smartwatches. The idea of a smartwatch has been around since the days of Dick Tracy, but it became a real thing in the 2010s. The breakthrough Pebble Watch came first, and before we knew it, a bevy of competing devices ensued with the Apple Watch and Samsung Galaxy Gear leading the pack. What's more impressive than the fact that smartwatches exist is how far they've come in the past decade. Fitness tracking came quickly and that got us hooked, but it took a few attempts before people realized how exciting and potentially life-saving features like EKG heart rate tracking could be. Now that smartwatches are no longer regarded as just smartphone accessories, look for them to continue carving out their place in the world in the 2020s. Next up is a personal favorite, augmented reality. If you're gonna get technical about it, augmented reality existed back in the 60s, but it wasn't until the 2010s that people all started talking about augmented reality like it was an everyday thing. The ill-fated Google Glass was unfortunately many people's introduction to AR, and bad publicity sunk that ship in a hurry. But today, AR is widely found as a smartphone feature. And now, a growing number of head-up display makers are looking to succeed where Google failed. It's most commonly used for gaming, but other applications like IKEA's IKEA Place app give an indication of how else it could fit into our lives. And all I'm saying is, help me fix my car. When AR can do that and add an affordable price, I'm in. And I think we're close. Now for a different kind of reality. I'm talking about virtual reality. Oculus Rift burst onto the scene as a 2012 Kickstarter, and two years later, it was snapped up by Facebook for $2 billion. Like AR, virtual reality goes back a lot further than the 2010s. I mean, Lawnmower Man, right? Anyone remember that movie? Anyway, it was the decade where it really kicked off. Oculus hasn't become a mass market technology in the way that Facebook might have liked, but the tech is incredibly compelling. Oculus has also been joined by a number of other head-up displays offering virtual reality technology. These range from the HTC Vive headsets to the plug-and-play Google Cardboard. I think it's fair to say that VR is in a much, much stronger place right now than it was a decade ago. How about tablet computers? Arthur C. Clarke famously said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And it stands to follow that any sufficiently adopted technology just fades into the background. It's the whole new normal thing. That's what happened to tablet computers over the past 10 years. It was 2010's first gen iPad that put tablets center stage. And at the time, techies just wanted an iPad without really knowing what it would do for them. Jump forward 10 years and it's something that even your grandparents probably have at home. Let's move on to crowdfunding. Kickstarter technically launched on April 28, 2009, but Time Magazine named it one of the best inventions of 2010, so we're putting it on the list. Crowdfunding became the new funding paradigm of the 2010s. It's not only a way for entrepreneurs to raise money, but it's also a marketing tool that gets people excited about investing in a product that doesn't yet exist. I know, I know, not everything about crowdfunding is great. I think we all know of at least one epic failure that raised tons of cash and then just disappeared. Still, there's no doubting how influential it has been, and it proves just how powerful the internet's harnessing a crowd can be. Next is Touch ID, and you know, other biometrics. When you think back to the problems the world faced at the beginning of the decade, what's the one that jumps out the most? Obviously, the time-wasting nightmare of having to enter a passcode every time you wanted to log into a computer or unlock your phone. Fortunately, that's no longer an issue. In 2013, Apple brought fingerprint sensors to the iPhone 5S, and in the years that followed, fingerprint scanning tech has become almost standard issue on phones, tablets, and a growing number of computers. 
Once the stuff of Tom Clancy novels, biometric security has become an everyday thing, right along with NFC payments. And now, fingerprint sensing is giving way to facial recognition, which probably means retinal scans are just around the corner. Wireless earbuds. Admit it, the first time you saw wireless earbuds like the AirPods Apple introduced back in 2016, you thought they looked ridiculous. Kids will buy anything these days, you mutter to yourself before tweeting something about how your own wired earbuds made them not only cheaper, but far less easy to lose. Jump forward to today and you're reading this article wearing your Amazon Echo Buds, AirPods Pro, or Samsung Galaxy Buds, scrolling through your Twitter feed, deleting all evidence of your bad tech predictions of the past. Oh, you aren't? Okay, I guess that's just me. Uh, let's move on to delivery robots. Ask someone in 2010 if they wanted a robot to deliver their takeout order, and they'd probably say, well, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Ask someone the same question today, and they'll probably say the same thing. Only now, there's a good chance they might get their wish, and soon. Thanks to the work of pioneering companies like Starship Technologies, fleets of wheeled delivery robots are now rolling out around the world. Longing for a hamburger but don't want to hop in the car to get it? For a small delivery fee, you can select your exact location on an app and a robot will autonomously trundle along the sidewalk to deliver it to you. All you gotta do is unlock the robot storage tank with your app and retrieve your order. Delivery drones? They're fast becoming a thing too. In fact, that might almost need to be an entry itself. Finally, self-driving cars. You had to see this one coming. In 2010, the first stories broke about how Google was building cars that could drive themselves. I know work has been going on in this space for a while, but previous attempts at autonomous vehicles were not great. Now, at the end of 2019, self-driving cars have covered thousands of miles on public roads. Now, to be fair, full-on, hands-off, take a nap, or watch a movie-style level 5 autonomy is still well out of reach. But there's no doubt self-driving vehicles have taken a massive leap forward. And now suddenly, Total Recall's vision of Johnny Cabs doesn't seem too far out of reach. Phew! What a decade. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell because we've got more fun lists like this coming up right here and at digitaltrends.com.